How's it going everyone? It's Richard. Welcome back to Push-Ups for PTSD in day 1302 or day 23 of 125 push-ups a day as we travel down this road to spread awareness. First, I just want to send my well wishes to everyone watching and say thank you for your support and I hope you're staying safe. Quiero apenas enviar mails votos de felicidades a todos que esteo asesinado e gracia pelo apoyo. Now that I've butchered the Portuguese, let me butcher the French. Je souhaite simplement adressers, mails, milliers, vous et tous qui regardent et vous remercier pour votre soutien. Another beautiful sunny day outside, which started more than early enough to give the kids plenty of time outside today. Even had enough time to try and teach my oldest to ride their bike without training wheels. It's a work in progress, more about confidence of the unknown than the actual ability I'd say at this point, but they're getting to it. Just like everything else, just have to work on it day to day and see improvements, and then it'll come along in no time. Today's topic is three common treatments for PTSD and tomorrow's talk will, will be three more common treatments for PTSD but the first is therapy. PTSD therapy has three main goals, improve your symptoms, teach you skills to deal with it, and restore your self-esteem. Most PTSD therapies fall under the umbrella of cognitive behavioral therapy CBT. The idea is to change the thought patterns that are disturbing your life. This might happen through talking about your trauma or concentrating on where your fears come from. Depending on your situation, group or family therapy might be a good choice for you instead of individual sessions. The second common treatment is Cognitive Process Therapy. CPT is a 12-week course of treatment with weekly sessions of 60 to 90 minutes. At first, you'll talk about the traumatic event with your therapist and how your thoughts related to it have affected your life. Then you'll write in detail about what happened. This process helps you examine how you think about your trauma and figure out new ways to live with it. For example, maybe you've been blaming yourself for something. Your therapist will help you take into account all the things that were beyond your control so you can move forward, understanding and accepting that deep down it wasn't your fault despite things you did or didn't do. The third common treatment for PTSD is prolonged exposure therapy. If you've been avoiding things that remind you of the traumatic event, Prolonged exposure will help you confront them. It involves 8 to 15 sessions, usually 90 minutes each. Early on in treatment, your therapist will teach you breathing techniques to ease your anxiety when you think about what happened. Later, you'll make a list of the things you've been avoiding and learn how to face them, one by one. In another session, you'll recount the traumatic experience to your therapist, then go home and listen to a recording of yourself. Doing this as homework over time may help ease your symptoms. Today's push-up update, 125 push-ups plus an additional 10 done in order to spread awareness about PTSD. While I didn't necessarily feel overly strong, I didn't feel as fatigued or weak as I had earlier this week. I did lose count, and in my mind I think it was redoing the 96 to 105 set. I believe I ended up doing that one twice, but oh well, an extra 10 push-ups never hurt, and it was good to know that I could still finish strong even while doing a bit more. Last night I spent another hour on the stationary bike, and I think overall that's helping. Just not sure if it's a short term boost or if it'll have a prolonged effect. Coming up to the end of the video now, and I want to say through all of this, everything happening outside, I hope everyone is doing well. No matter how crazy it may be inside your head or outside in the world, it's just a moment in time and it will pass. Make sure to take care of yourselves and to stay safe. 
If you enjoyed this video, the daily updates, and the messages, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your current and future support, and most importantly, thank you for surviving.